Charlotte Plastic Surgery, located on Randolph Road, offers a free Vizia skincare analysis to show how much sun damage that is on your face. Today, I will be going to get my free skincare analysis and to see how much damage I have uh, from the sun. And I'll also be learning more about skincare and some secrets to healthy looking skin as you age. Close your eyes. Excellent. Alrighty. Head up for just a moment. We're going to move this. You're going to face forward this time. I'm going to keep that. your chin let's see put your head up just a little bit more put, you know, put your chin down on the block excellent excellent keep your eyes closed and take four photos and move it down a little bit wrinkles want to be fair there you go texture it's in a good place pores UV, so it's looking for UV damage deep underneath. If you had any, it would show up really dark in here, but it doesn't actually detect very much at all. So that's excellent. And then it's got some brown spots. Brown spots or hyperpigmentation can be from anything, can be from um, topical sun damage, it can be a bruise, it can be a little brown spot left after having a pimple, it can be lots of different things, but it's nothing major, it's really topical. And then redness, redness can be from telangiectasia, little broken capillaries, it can be sensitive skin, it can be from a product, it can also be because you just washed your face and it might be a little sensitive. Porphyrins are the oils and bacteria in Blue lights and things like that actually damage the skin at a much deeper level, at the DNA level. And the problem with blue light is we can't feel it. So with UV light, we can feel the heat and it tells us to get out of the sun. Blue light, we can't feel that. So we're standing in front of this screen and it's radiating blue light and it's damaging our skin at a deeper level. That's why younger people are actually wrinkling at an earlier age because of all of the appliances that you're growing up with. You have iPads since you're little, you're in front of a computer in school. So where the older generation, my generation, you know, we um, maybe tanned in the summer, but then had all winter to recover. Young gotcha. people don't have that. Gotcha. And that's probably why my skin thinks it's 26. Right. Because of all the blue light. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Because you can see as far as the brown spots and UV, you really don't have any. Okay. So the damage that you actually have is at a deeper level. Okay. So we need to correct that. You know, beautiful skin is one of the things that we all strive for. And the, the first step to beautiful to attaining beautiful skin is understanding the anatomy of the skin. So this is in broad terms. There are two layers. There's the upper layer of the skin and which is the epidermis and the deeper layer of the skin, which is the dermis. The changes to both of those layers eventually affect how the skin looks. What most people don't realize is throughout your time, you know, the more sun exposure you have, the more exposure to the elements, the more the skin quality changes. And there are different elements of that skin that will degrade over time. There are components like hyaluronic acid, the hyaluronic acid, elastin, all of these variables kind of change. So, you know, one of the biggest tips um, and one of the easiest things when it comes to just having and attaining beautiful skin is protecting it from the elements, whether that is the sun, whether that is, you know, harmful chemicals, you know, all those uh, factors. So it's kind of broad terms. There's been a, a long held misbelief that uh, skin of color uh, doesn't age, doesn't yeah. crack. We've right. all heard yeah. um, the, the the axioms and idioms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the fact of the matter is, uh, you know, skin of color does age. Okay, and, yeah. and some components, the skin is a little thicker, and so the aging process may be a little slower, but it will age in time. Okay. Um, for you know anyone of color, okay. the first and primary defense is always sun protection, which is sunscreen. And so I'd recommend almost any and everyone to, to apply sunscreen almost daily. And that is the key to having you know beautiful skin that's mm -hmm. going to be flawless. 
when I look at some of my patients, for example, I have two patients who are of similar ages. Um, one has had sun protection her whole life. Um, she looks 10 years younger. The other has had the, you know, had very, had very, had very limited uh, sun protection and she looks about her age. So I'd say you can go, you know, and, and appear almost 10 years younger just by using something as simple as sunscreen. You know, you can have the same SPF, but I think one of the barriers that keeps a lot of African Americans from utilizing sunscreen is sometimes, um, you know, the, the zinc that's in, it's a chemical that's placed with the sunscreen. Sometimes that can leave kind of a shiny sheen on the skin itself. Um, you know, I've had several companies come out with different lines hoping to have something that has high enough protection without that sheen. And now there are new technologies that allow that to happen. Uh, there are companies now that have uh, sunscreen that can be, you know, applied on just by brushing. And so there's so many different ways of delivering um, the, 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 the agent to the skin that there's almost no reason why you know, folks should not have um, any sunscreen. Gotcha, yeah. absolutely. And like um, Alex said, we're supposed to be wearing sunscreen every single day, correct? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. You shouldn't leave the house without it. you the skin to wrinkle much sooner. It will also decrease the elasticity of the skin. So when we think about the elasticity of the skin, which is the ability of that skin, you know, when you pull it, to come back and snap back into place, there are fibers in the skin called elastin. The elastin almost act like rubber bands that allow that skin to recoil. So for most of us, as that elastin starts to break down, when that skin is put on stretch, it doesn't snap back. In time, what you start to see is in parts of even the face, you can start to see areas like the jowls that are all a result of loss of that elasticity. When that skin is youthful and it has that elastin um, and it has you know, hyaluronic acid, the skin just has a more bounce to it, more spring to it. And so you end up with less fine lines and wrinkles in time. You know, especially with a lot of my male patients, I try to simplify as much as possible. Okay? Sometimes if you have something that's too complicated, people are less likely to use it. So I'll take myself for example, okay? Um, when I wake up, you know, I use a cleanser. Okay. That cleanser helps to just remove any remaining kind of dirt and grime um, from my face. Um, then on top of that uh, cleanser, I use a basic moisturizer. There's several different types of uh, moisturizers out there. Gotcha. Um, there are a couple of things that I use that are meant to help me look younger um, that we can talk about later on, but not necessarily pertinent. So um, once I'm done with my moisturizer, mm -hmm. then I will apply um, something for sun protection. Okay? Gotcha. Um, there are a number of agents out there that are all professing to make you look younger. Gotcha. But frankly, a lot of them are just trying to get uh, get your money. Okay. Gotcha. You know, here at Charlotte Plaza Surgery, we're really proud of the line that we offer because everything that we offer has scientific data behind it, okay? Gotcha. So there are a lot of things that are over the counter that say that they're gonna get you quite the results, but everything that we have has good data and good scientific evidence okay. to be effective. For example, you know, I use a retinol, okay? okay. Uh, retinol helps to turn over the skin, shed some of the, the more aged skin cells at the very top layer okay. and then leads us more refreshed or youthful skin underneath. So gotcha. I'll use retinol every other day. Um, gotcha. On top of that, there are you know, different agents that you know, are more proprietary that I won't, I won't get into. But yeah. you know, I think the more, most important thing is before starting on a regimen or even spending money on something, it's probably beneficial to actually sit down um, with somebody in the aesthetics industry, whether it's you know, plastic surgeon, um, you know, uh, or somebody, one of our skincare experts, and actually look through, um, based on say the visual results of the Vizia, okay. get a sense for what um, what the areas of deficit are, and then put together a skincare routine that's going to be effective. And gotcha. if you're able to do that, like I said, you can keep about 10 years uh, of age off just by taking care of your skin. There, uh, a class of, of, of proteins in your body that are considered connective tissues. They essentially connect elements of the skin um, and they allow that skin to essentially age in a graceful manner. So mm -hmm. collagen, hyaluronic acid, elastin, those are the main components that allow for youthful uh, appearing skin. 
as we get older, the amount of collagen right, in our body starts to degrade and decrease. Mm -hmm. And that manifests itself in, in multiple ways that we see uh, during the later stages of life when we actually look at ourselves. And <clears throat> some patients will come in and say, you know, I don't recognize the person that I see in the mirror. Um, gotcha. And a lot of it is based on the natural breakdown of that collagen. And so part of what we do here at Charlotte Plastic Surgery is we recommend skincare lines and skincare agents that are shown to at least either decrease the breakdown of that collagen or stimulate the production of that. After my visit today, I was giving some products to better improve my skin. So I was giving a cleanser, an exfoliator, which will get rid of dead skin, the illuminating AOX serum, which works as a daily sunscreen, an anti-aging product, and a skin brightener, which will even out my skin tone and help reduce brown spots. This is Aaliyah Bowden with the Charlotte Post.